conference that is back in the burner today on Sunrise. Daily Royal Yes, you've got Dumaki joins us now. He's a delegate at the ongoing conference. Thank you for coming on this morning. morning. Let's quickly get your, uh, your perspective on this one because when uh, he spoke, there were some murmurings behind the scenes, but of course we couldn't make out what everybody was talking about. So let's listen to it and then we'll get your response. If something happens and the country disintegrates, God forbid, many of those who are shouting their heads off, many of those who are shouting their heads off will have nowhere to go. But, Mr. Chairman, I and the people of Adamara and many others have got somewhere to go. I am the Lamid of Adamara, and my kingdom transcends Nigeria and Cameroon. The larger, the larger part of my kingdom is in the Republic of Cameroon. A part of that kingdom in Cameroon is called Adamara State presently in Cameroon. So you see, if I run to that place, I will easily assimilate. But, but, Mr. Chairman, please, I want to plead to us, Mr. Chairman, I want to plead to us to strictly spread the path laid down by Mr. President in his address, which includes the pattern of voting. Unless we want to disobey our president, then you can do whatever you want. And if you are pushed to the wall, we will easily walk out of this country. Okay, so uh, what was all those moments behind the scenes? Well, I think uh, the camera did not, uh, the, did not uh, catch all that he said. Okay. The opening remarks Mr. Mani made was that, let me warn all of you. Wow. The way we copy Western civilizations. And in fact, initially I thought it was maybe it was Shekau. Because that's the language of Boko Haram. That you have come here talking about two thirds and the rest of them before it went to all this thing about it is those of you who don't have other choice, we have other choice, you are from Cameroon and the rest of them. And of course, that was the most unfortunate moment of that conference. Because the Lambda of Adamawa is number four in the whole of the caliphate structure. He's number five emir in the whole of the north. So when such a man come on the floor of the conference, in the midst of what was going on in this country, in the midst of the deep divisions, and begin to make such statements like, oh, yes, my kingdom is turned to Cameroon. There's a state there called Adamawa. So if this place disintegrates, we have other places to go. It is you guys that don't have. In fact, I was sitting next four, four seats to him, four rows to him. And I was raising my hand. If the chairman called me, I would have made it very clear to him. I'm from Yoruba land. There are Yorubas in the Republic, in Togo, in Cote d'Ivoire, in Brazil. But if I want to go and meet them, if I want to relocate there, it is not after destroying Nigeria. Because that statement is loaded. And the fact, the moment the comments you are hearing, people are saying, oh, yes, we now understand. We now understand why insurgents are coming from Cameroon, from Chad, from Niger, to come and destroy this place, to kill children, to kill people, and the elites of a section of the country are quiet. Which shows that even if they do not, if they are not, I'm not even saying that anybody is sponsoring anybody, but that's a kind of a consent. And that's what the kind of statements make. See, so that, those are the kind of moments. It was annoying. But the redemptive thing was that I spoke with a lot of some people from the north who said the Fed diminished, they were embarrassed. That in an important emir from the north who get up on the floor of the conference and made that kind of comments. Did they feel that they had to take the floor and then also make a comment, perhaps seeing how they could remedy the situation, if at all that was how they felt? Well, I don't think they were ready to move up to that point. But I saw something that happened. Because after the conference was adjourned, the Lamid of Adamawa was, was being interviewed by the press and was making the same kind of comments. And even making worse comments on the Alaji Gambo, Jimeta Gambo, and uh, Modibo, 
uh, uh, Akua went to drag him and stop that interview to save him from himself. But whether they were gone to the extent of making a remedy is uh, on the floor, of the, on the problem. It's another thing entirely. Because Did I was you? going to ask if there was any remorse immediately after that. But since you say subsequent press interviews were he, with such, uh, he was still making was, one. He was still making was 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 statements to the press until Aladdin Jibeta Gambo and 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 Kao went to stop him. Do you see that it, as though it was premeditated to disrupt the conference? Well, you know, before this conference, you will recall that there was a Kano declaration. Some group met in Kano, other than other elders forum, where they used to communicate that this conference is a waste of time, the outcome will not be binding on the north, and not that get delegation work out if there's anything that's contrary to their expectations. And when, and when the Lambert was speaking, I would say, we, we, we. That shows clearly. And that's, and that's, and that's the whole question of this uh, logjam that we're having over, this, over, over the threshold for what constitutes majority in the conference. It's because appearing <coughs> that the people have come to this conference, like if you read, if you read the paper uh, uh, Kim Baba made, presented at the Kano uh, meeting, he did say that we Northerners are not com we are not coming to this conference with any agenda. We are escorting other people's agenda. Only did not say that we are we are going to scot you other people's agenda. So it's clear that there's a mindset. But I think uh, the most important thing at this stage we need to tell ourselves of home truth. The era of intimidating, of threatening anybody is over. Don't forget that in 1953, when Anthony Nahoro moved the motion for independence. <coughs> And some people say they are not ready for independence. There were riots in Kano over that fact that we don't want independence. And in fact, after that riot, those riots, the Northern Elders met and produced an eight point community agenda, which was asking for confederacy. In fact, they were saying that there should be no national parliament. Every region should run this on its own. Every region should do this on its own until we find something that's irresistible. Really that now became one Nigeria. So, and like, like Lamido was saying, you know, they, they go up to the Nobody can, look, there is no, there is no community today, or there is no group or ethnicity in Nigeria today that cannot be a country. Gambia is in the United Nations, it's just one vote to Nigeria. How many people are in Gambia? So let nobody trust anybody. What you should do at this stage is for all of us to shed whatever feudal arrogance that we have, and let us talk as equal to find solutions to the problem of Nigeria and keep this country and make Nigeria a country that works for all these constant more, units. More, more like a man who saw tomorrow. Wasn't this why the president had said, well, that should be a no-go area, just that one area? Well, the president is in the... In the because I, because it, in, it amounts to almost what he didn't want uh, the conference to discuss. Well, in, the, in his inaugural speech, the president did not give us any no-go no -go area. And in fact, was, I even listened to Professor Yadudu saying that the president in his inaugural speech said that the decision makes you aware 75%. No such thing was in his business. If you read that speech, all the president was saying that, look, put Nigeria first, put the country first, find consensus, let's launch a new Nigeria. He was making appeal, but there was no attempt to say don't discuss any issues. And in any case, the question of going to the conference to find consensus, consensus is very good. But how do I find a consensus with a man with the mindset of Lamido Vadamo? It's like you put a cat and a rat in a room and say, go and find consensus. There are only two things that can come out. Either the cat say, I want to go hungry for the rest of my life, or the rat say, I'm ready for your, to, to be taken as, as, as lunch. 